Now let's discuss UFUNC's index alignment. For binary operations on two series or data frame objects, pandas will aligned indices in the process of performing the operation. This is very convenient when you are working with incomplete data, as we will see in some of the examples that follow. So now, the first point we will discuss is index alignment in series. As an example, suppose we are combining two different data sources and find only the top three US states by area and the top three US states by population. We got area, PD, series. Now, Alaska, the number is One seven two triple three seven. Now Texas, it's six nine six nine five double six two. Now we are going to enter California. Make sure the spellings are correct because later on we will use this as a dictionary. California. The number is four two three nine six seven where we put the different bracket but it's shift square bracket space name equals to area bracket close now population equals to pd dot series now let's copy that down but we have to change the numbers here for for california no 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 for population they will be different series california the number will be three eight double three two five two one for texas the number will be two six double four eight one nine three and for new york For New York, the number is one nine six five double one two seven. The name will be population. Let's check if we are done that. Uh, yeah, three 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 two six one New York. Got this the name is population, and for one thing, now let's enter. So let's see what happens when we divide this to compute the population density. We got the result. So the resulting array contains the unions of indices of the two input arrays, which we could determine using standard Python set arithmetic on these indices. Now, area dot index vertical line population. We got the result. So any item for one for which one or the other does not have an entry is marked with N A N. Or not a number, which is how pandas marks marks missing data. This index matching is implemented this way for any of Python's built-in automatic expressions. Any missing values are filled in with NaN by default. Let's see. A equals to B B dot series two four six six. We, we can copy that down so that it's easy for us. Index to we'll change the number zero one two 
Zero. Let's do dd dot one three five one three five. Sorry. Yeah. Index one two three. A plus B. Um, we got the adder. Let's fix the adder. Can't assign this function call. There's an error in line one and you could not so I can figure it out. A plus B, I guess it should work. Two, four, six, one, three, five, zero, one, two, and one, two, three. We're getting the value what I have discussed in my curriculum. No. E by C R I E N. Well, we got the error. Here we are not supposed to put the brackets. Here we are not supposed to enclose with the bracket. Now we've got the result. So if using NA and values is not the desired behavior, we can modify the fill value using appropriate object methods in place of the operators. For example, calling A dot add b is equivalent to calling a plus b but allows optional explicit specification of the fill value for any elements in a or b that might be missing a dot add value is to zero so now let's move on to the next lecture which is index alignment in data frame